For the past few years, Jeff Wittick has been dealing with surgery after surgery from the whole excavator accident. David left Jeff with really serious injuries, and he's been dealing with the side effects to this day. Even though Jeff and David initially made up and posted that whole docu-series together, Jeff eventually realized that David wasn't sorry for what he did. He was just trying to save his reputation. David was traveling the world, doing shows with Discovery Plus, buying houses, and still able to have this thriving career. All while Jeff was stuck at home, not being able to work at the same pace he was used to, and having to deal with constant surgeries. The breaking point for Jeff happened last year when David didn't even message him after his surgery, he kept defaulting on his medical insurance, and he even found out that David tried to blame him for the accident during Casey Neistat's documentary. Jeff decided to take everyone's advice and officially filed a lawsuit for $10 million. Recently, Jeff announced that he was going in for yet another surgery to try and fix some issues that he was having with his vision. And after the surgery, he posted an update to his Instagram, writing, Another one down. Thank you all for the love and support. Thank you, Dr. Cook, and thank you, pain meds. Well, people think the vlog squad tried to shade him after he posted this update. Todd posted a picture to his second Instagram of him, David, and Zane all drinking together and having fun with the caption, we don't give an F. Everyone in the comments was calling him out, writing, How could you live knowing Jeff keeps getting so many eye surgeries because of you guys and your friends? So glad Jeff left the vlog squad behind in the dust and moved on to better friends and a better, bigger career path. This friend group is falling faster than David's hairline. What a shame. Jeff all the way. Worst friends ever. Karma is coming for y'all. But Todd tried to deny that it had anything to do with Jeff, writing, Ha ha ha, Jesus, this wasn't about Jeff, and I haven't deleted any comments. I'm having fun with friends, god damn. But people weren't buying it, and they went on to accuse him of lying and deleting comments, writing, I'm literally watching these comments disappear as I'm trying to read them. You don't give an F about what then? If it's not Jeff's eye, then what? Thank God Jeff has real people around him now because this kind of bullying could drive someone to do something horrible. And the people in the comments weren't the only ones who thought this caption was about Jeff. Jeff also thought it was about him and he went off on Snapchat, writing, This was just brought to my attention. Thanks for exposing yourself, you scumbags. Wish I knew this was how y'all felt when I kept my mouth shut to try and protect this piece of put the booze down and get to litigation. It's all good, I'll tell the real story soon, but I'm a little tired right now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on the vlog squad or whatever's left of that fake group of friends, with a few exceptions. And it looks like Todd has gone on again to poke fun at the situation with another Instagram caption. On January 27th, he posted a picture and captioned it, screw off man, I'm just joking. This is a quote from The Heartbreak Kid, a movie with Ben Stiller. I just want to be fully transparent. Personally, to me, that kind of sounds like he was trying to get at Jeff and get his fans going, but then trying to save himself by saying, oh, it's just a movie quote. He knew what he was doing, and I'm not the only one that thinks that, because one of the top like comments under this post says, your caption is annoying as fuck. Your friend had a traumatic injury, and y'all are so immature. We have to remember that these guys were all Jeff's friends for years. They were all so close and they all witnessed him nearly die at the hands of David. For them to be so like tangled in David's life that they actually cut their friendship with Jeff off because Jeff finally had enough and stood up for himself is crazy. Even Jason pretty much sided with David and couldn't even stand up for Jeff during that whole podcast they did. Although I will say, I don't think Jason and Jeff are on absolutely terrible terms because Jeff didn't have that much to say about him a few weeks ago on Jeff FM. Tanner brought up the situation that happened at a movie premiere with a member of the vlog squad. She said someone at their prehistoric age came up to her and was pretty much attacking her over the whole Jeff situation. I got pressed by a grown man yeah for things i said on the things that i said on your last podcast about certain people's actions i was accosted for last night coming at my neck like there's two sides to every story you don't know what it oh, yeah, is yeah. Blah, what's blah, the blah. other side i literally said <laughs> the other side like what the action made me so 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 mad and the thing is is the 
said on your podcast, A, is true, and B, was a very vague statement. It could have been about a girl. It could have been about anyone. Like, this person took it upon themselves to feel attacked. The following week, Tana confirmed that despite what everyone thought, it actually wasn't Jason Nash. Everyone thought it was Jason Nash. And I... It wasn't Jason Nash. I said at his prehistoric age, but I would say that yeah. about anybody over the age of 30. Except you, sweetie. <laughs> she also went on to say that she loves Jason Nash and Jeff definitely didn't have anything bad to say about him. It, yeah, it was not. I love Jason Nash, honestly. Like, I think he's love is a stretch. I like Jason Nash. He's all right. You know, like he's not the yeah. worst of them. Yeah, no, I don't okay. know. This, you take this. A lot of people started to guess that it may have actually been Todd who came up to Tana and gave her a really hard time at the event. It would make a lot of sense, especially after the whole we don't give a situation. Tana had been posting tons of TikToks with Jeff. She flew down and took care of him after his surgery. Okay, Jeff, say hi. Hey. Hi. Okay, go back. Make sure you get the right eye. I, I, can, I can see which one has, has the problem. <laughs> okay. Open it, just kidding. Just try to get it in the crack. Perfect, wow, that feels good. Play the euphoria song. Play the euphoria song. So I could definitely see Todd's caption being about them. And that suspicion was pretty much confirmed when Tana and Jeff went on H3 this week to do the Steamy Awards. Tana brought up how someone from the vlog squad called her a liar, and Ethan blurted out Todd's name. There's a little bit of drama Some brewing. Intel. Some inside Maybe intel. you can just say what it was without getting into it. I you won't guys... get into it. I just got, I, I'm being sent. Um, a fellow <laughs> Vlog Squad member calling me a liar and... Todd, you're a piece of if you're watching this scum. Let's do it on our Yeah, turn. you do it on your time. Yeah. Jeff definitely doesn't want to get into this live, but the I impulsive and the emotionally driven impulsive... Impulsive, really. Um, I would just love to dive in, but I'm not... Um, yeah, I wouldn't want as, to ruin as media such a train as Ethan, night. where you know it's a, yeah, it's such a You're spectacular, right. magical night here. If you just and then want, we, if you just want to wrap it up, you go ahead. What was he calling you a liar about? If you could just you you could pie like, it. I feel like you want to wrap it up. That honestly makes the most sense to me. Tana was so mad at this person because they admitted to her that they missed Jeff, but when she suggested that you know maybe they reach out to him, they made it out like they couldn't possibly do that. You said that uh, people miss me from the old crew. That's yeah, I said that certain people will say that they miss you and then not act like it, and I've never understood adults who can't, you know, move with adult behavior. If you miss someone, was you that care person about them. one of the people? Yes. Oh, so so they did say that? And they did say that. 100%. They got mad that you, you aired it out? Yeah, but I never said their name. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, no one knew it was them. They just felt now like... Now, that's odd that you can't say that you miss a person. Something fishy's going on. Oh, 100%. And it was like, I'm sorry I had his back. Then Tana goes on to tell that story on Jeff FM, and this person probably got mad out of fear of upsetting David. I'm sure David doesn't want any of his friends missing Jeff, especially since he's being sued for $10 million. It's definitely a really sad situation because Jeff and Todd seem super close, and the fact that he chose to stick by David, knowing what David did to Jeff and just how much it affected him, is really shitty. I do think there's a lot more to come out that we probably don't even know. And Jeff did hint at that during an episode with Tana. So what if I told you that my accident wasn't as much of an accident, it was more of a failed prank that I wasn't in on. And then when it came down to it and I was in the hospital and they filled out an accident report and they said that I was driving yeah, it. The, yeah, so it's a super wrong situation. That information is something that we never knew before. No one knew that it was actually a planned prank, and if Jeff has proof of that, David must be so scared. It also makes me wonder if maybe that's the reason so many of the Vlog Squad members are sticking with David. Maybe some of them knew about the prank and were actually in on it, and since there's probably proof that they knew, they don't want to risk their livelihood by siding with Jeff and that coming out. Obviously, this is just me speculating, but that would make the most sense to me. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.